Las Vegas is a city of lights. Much of the city's power comes from fossil fuels that are expensive, running out, and pollute. In a nearby desert, a new power plant uses a clean fuel that is free and will not run out. It is Nevada Solar One. Plant manager Bob Cable says this is a concentrated solar power plant. We do it with mirrors, yeah. The large parabolic structure with the mirrors focuses its energy into the focal point where a receiver tube is and we heat a heat transfer fluid up to approximately 390 degrees C. Cable says that the heated fluid then heats water to make steam to turn a turbine and generate electricity. He says that with concentrated solar power, these 120 hectares of desert land make enough electricity for 14,000 households. As the concentrated solar power expert at the National Renewable Energy Lab in Golden, Colorado, Mark Miho says that the southwestern United States has plenty of flat, sunny, open space for making electricity in this clean, renewable way. With that optimal siting, we can supply more than 10 times the capacity used currently in the United States. Mio says that concentrated solar power has similar potential anywhere that is sunny, such as Spain, North Africa, and the Middle East. But he says worldwide, solar energy provides less than 1% of electricity. To make more, it needs to cost less. That is why Cheryl Kennedy, another National Renewable Energy Lab scientist, is working to cut the cost of solar mirrors at least by half. We would like a perfect mirror that lasts forever, doesn't cost anything, weigh anything, and never gets dirty. As for the receiving tubes, Kennedy says they work best when they soak up solar heat without corroding. That and the mirrors are like almost half of the cost of a plant, so we want to lower the price of each of those. When the sun sets, concentrated solar power plants shut down. To run at night, they need affordable ways to store solar heated transfer fluid. Mark Neal says the idea is simple. We need a, a giant coffee pot. We'll pour that coffee into a thermos. But the giant thermos for storing concentrated solar power must be sturdy. Mio says that one of the best fluids for retaining heat is molten salt, and salt is corrosive. He says as scientists figure out how to handle it, more plants will operate at night. If we can achieve that goal of reducing the cost of thermal storage along with these other components, uh, concentrated solar power will be uh, used uh, widely, I believe, in the U.S. And, and internationally. A Spanish company, Acciona, runs Nevada Solar One and many of the plants now under development. Spain leads the way in government support for this technology. Mio says that he hopes that the U.S. will invest more to speed the transition to clean solar fuel. For VOA, I am Shelley Schlender in Nevada.